Hi guys, today I will upload the, the video about the QSPICE in sight because there, there were some problems about the high side driving in the previous video. Some of you mentioned in the comment that uh, I, I did the, uh, the high side driving wrong, but uh, as, as you can see in my video here, there is this kind of high side driving with the level shifter and the, uh, the fall of emitter pair. And in this video here, it worked, uh, it worked fine. So I think that uh, uh, the problem here is connected more than the, more with QSPICE than uh, than it seems. So for this reason, I will provide an insight of QSPICE doing a uh, a boost converter be because I think that uh, it, it won't give any um, any issue. Okay, um, let's give this, this test as a comment. So the first thing that we wanted to do of, of QSPICE that since it, it is a uh, uh, and inside of the video is that uh, first on, on, on your left you will have uh, your um, you will have your um, your uh, um, your component selection and uh, um, so six shotty shift fact jfet corvo behavioral whatever you need uh, all pump transformer and also the capacitor the diodes everything that you need uh, when you select a component, uh, here the components are categorized based on the device properties. So this is the first advantage. Let me write here. So um, we have the better selection of components. Um, because as you can see, if when you select a diode and there is the selection guide, I will probably have all silicon diodes. But if I do more than once, these should be Zener diodes. And yes, because you can see that we I have VZ, IZ, and ZZ. So the same for the LEDs, for the uh, for the LED. Uh, you oh, oops, the same for the LED. Uh, okay, nothing is shown for the LED. And for the varactor, uh, also for the, the varactor, we have the C, the CJO, which is the junction capacitance, the grounding coefficient, and the Q. Uh, the same applies also for the MOSFET, just using M, PMOS and MOS and MOS, PMOS, whatever you need, and with right click you can choose between the variety of your, of your MOSFET. Uh, second advantage is that we have the proper shortcut, shortcuts, meaning that uh, control, control plus X is equal to, is equal to cut and control plus Z is equal to uh, actually to undo, which is something which is not implemented yet in NLT Spice. So select this, Ctrl Z, and it will cut everything. Then the third advantage with respect to NLT Spice is that it has a faster simulation. It has a faster simulation, and uh, of course, why not? It has also the uh, possibility to implement uh, implement implement stm32 c++ and verilog code this is very useful when you have to do mixed signal uh, simulation and also um, when you have to generate a, a pwm for a boost converter calculate efficiency and whatever you need and what and why not and why not let's also add that uh, you have the possibility to add images images uh, and text and uh, everything that you need for a PDF presentation. Um, so let's start with a boost converter this time because, okay, I will, if I, I promise to do that, uh, if I, I will solve the ice side driving, I will also simulate in QSPICE, but for now, let's skip this, okay? So uh, let's use the input voltage V in, with uh, uh, 20 volts and let's ground this guy with G. Now let's use the net N to call this in and let's put the bulk capacitor C with 100 micro. We will use the parameter CR with control B. We will give um, dot param D equal to 0 0.5 and dot param FS equal to 100 kilohertz. Now let's ground this guy and let's give uh, the uh, proper configuration of the boost converter. 
In the boost converter you have the inductance which is in series with the, in with the input. Let's give a proper value like 7 dot micro and let's give the low side MOSFET with M. I would suggest that the, the gun is the best because when you select a MOSFET you have to take care about the IDS, sorry the RDS on and the gate charge. Remember that, just a proper intuition, uh, the higher the QG, the higher the switching losses. Because uh, the gate has to charge, the gate, the gate has to charge, the gate has to charge uh, the gate capacitance each time, and so you will have more losses basically. This is grounded. Now we can we can add the pulse. You can generate this uh, by double clicking V two times on the blackboard on the board. So as you can see, I'm I'm pressing V. I can generate pulse, C sinus, PWL, and whatever you need. I can also generate different kind of uh, behavioral voltages and also resistances. This can be very useful. So the low side driving is uh, is done with okay. I can implement a true version of this, the fast version, with uh, um, the level shifter plus the push pull, or directly connect it to here. It's the same, okay, just for simulation purposes. No, 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 no. I uh, I press F five because I wanted to cut. But uh, um, so let's do this. Let's uh, uh, let's use the pulse between uh, uh, zero and uh, three dot three volts. Yes, because we will suppose that it comes from a microcontroller. Delay zero. Rise ten nano. Ten nano. T on D over FS and period one over FS. So yes, you can use the level shift version if you want. Let's use the MPN. Just write Q for the MPN. Uh, this is uh, um. Uh, well, I can use also the MOSFET. Uh, so let me put uh, one kilo ohm resistor and the acceleration capacitance here. If it doesn't work, this I I I will shot myself. Really, 500 pico as acceleration capacitance. This is grounded. I will select the faster that I know. The uh, BC, the BC, uh, BCQ, or, or what was it, BC8, uh, probably, are BCP. These are used also in radio frequency electronics, so they should be fast. Now I can also add uh, um, the um, the V driver. This is the the power supply which I use for my for my stage. This is the level shifter with uh, one kilo ohm, strong pull up because we have to go fast, uh, 15 volts because the higher the, the voltage of the, v, of the VGS, the lower the resistor. If I see that it doesn't work for any reason, I will immediately toggle this, uh, uh, this, uh, this driver and put directly the pulse. Uh, so now again, let's use the follow emitter stage, PMP, MPN, PMP, The collector connected to here, and here we have the um, the gate resistor. Um, be careful when selecting. Uh, be careful when selecting these guys, because they can cause a a much higher VCE. Like select this one and a proper RG resistor like uh, one ohm. So now let's connect the diode. So this will be my um, control B. This will be my um, low side driver. I hope that it does work because I'm sure that on LT Spice, I'm sure that this works as you can see in the video here it works so if it doesn't uh, i think that the problem is connected with uh, 
Um, the problem is connected with the QSpice and not mine. So now let's connect the high side switch that for now will be a diode. Thanks. With the... Um... Ah, okay, there are also different ground... Uh, there are also different ground. I didn't know this. This is quite interesting because you can separate the ground, the analog ground from the power ground, I think. Uh, 100 micro. And let's put a load of uh, 1 ohm. So now, we would expect to have 40 volts, more or less. We can expect around 38, 37, but not 22, 24. So let me put the, the net out. Let me put also the net here. G, um, G, O. Oh. Go away. Um, let me put net G. And let me put the net here as the switch in out voltage switch. So I think that at, that's basically everything. Um, um, for now, that's everything. So let's run the simulation. Let's write uh, dot run. Uh, 5 milli and please let it work let me save this as a um, as a uh, simulation let me give a proper name like boost converter and let me call it boost converter Okay, so let's run the simulation and let's hope that, that it does work. Okay, uh, check not driver. Fatal error time step too small. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, check not check not driver. But there isn't a node called driver. Okay, VDV, low side driver. Uh, okay, maybe this is... Okay. I didn't uh, didn't put this as a comment, so that's the that was the only problem, I guess. So let me check first uh, the the um, the VG voltage. This must be between zero and fifty volts. Okay, so this time, okay, we have a uh, more or less uh, almost good between zero and fifty volts. Okay. It is acceptable. Now let's check the the switching node voltage. So let's add a window and let's check this. And we have uh, a voltage between zero and not enough because we should have uh, between zero and the output voltage, and we have zero and thirty-two volts. So again, the the output voltage is what. So I guess that uh, um... ah okay no 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 here the, the problem here is that the duty cycle is not exactly 0, 0 0.5 but it's it's way more it's way less than that so it is correct okay it is correct I am quite uh, quite satisfied with this simulation now we want to calculate the the efficiency by using the the block. Um, so let's implement the C++ so let's implement the C++ block. Um, for people who are wondering, no, 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 you should have 40 volts. Yes, you should have 40 volts if the duty cycle is actually 50%, 50 um, but as you can see in the gate voltage, it isn't. There are probably some um, problems with this, I, this uh, uh, level shifter here. I should probably substitute this guy with the MOSFET. So let me put a proper MOSFET with uh, uh, with this. Let's try. Let's try this. Let's see if I have... Uh... No. Ah, okay. I have 40 volts because now I, I have the proper 0 0.5... Uh, I have the proper 0 0.5 duty cycle. So now it is correct, the simulation. 
Now the simulation is correct. We can skip the transient by putting the, the time stop here. So let's let's use five, five, uh, five milliseconds. Five milliseconds again. And this, uh, sorry. Um, two milliseconds, two milliseconds. And to start. Two milli, two milli. And to start, two milli. So let's uh, run the simulation again. And uh, um, we should see. Ah, uh, okay. We have almost uh, we, we have almost 14 volts. We don't have it just because there is the drop of this diode, which we can um, we can improve by adding a shot a shot key diode. This will add some spikes, and uh, I don't want to do that because it will uh, um, it will uh, uh, make my simulation not so uh, clean. So what we want to do now is to calculate the efficiency. So um, we can use the behavioral voltage here. We will uh, we will capture the input power by making a v of in times i of uh, i of uh, um, i of v in. This is the input power. We will need to filter this input power because uh, we need the LMS value. So we will have 10 kilo ohm and 100 nano as um, a low pass filter. And we will put this inside a, a block, which will calculate the efficiency for us. So um, let's uh, copy this and let's paste it. Oh, what is going on? I did also take this. I don't need it. This is the output voltage. So V of out times um, times um, I of R1. So now let's create a block. Let's create a, a block to calculate the efficiency. So let's let's use uh, the um, draw hierarchical entity like this. And um, we, if you wanted to implement C++ code here, you have to select the simple properties and use the dot DLL attribute. I will write it in the, as a comment here. Um, select dot DLL. Otherwise, you won't be able to um, to open this C++ interface. You have to add uh, the port. So this uh, port, uh, let's call it uh, uh, P in. Let's um, put it here, and let's also copy this port here, there, and also there. Uh, let's call it uh, uh, P O because this is the output power, and uh, um, this is the power loss which we will call PL, and this is the efficiency, which we'll call F. Uh, now, we have to select, so first select the DLL. Um, once you have selected the D dot, D dot L, you have to select, select the ports and the data type. After the data type, you are fine. So, uh, port type input, data type float. Because it is the highest, pre because it has the highest precision ever. So float. Um, uh, this guy here, port type output, and that data type uh, float. Port type uh, output and data type uh, float. Let's save because it can crash. And now let's. Uh, um, Let's connect it to this and let's open the C++ interface. A boost converter is not allowed. Okay, another thing you have to you have to select this uh, uh, you have to select this and cancel it. Let's name it uh, uh, efficiency calculator and let's use the C++ interface. Yes, okay, it will open the code. Once it, the code is open, in this part in this part here you have to implement the model visualization code. So we will call F equal to minus 100 times the ratio between the output power and the input power and the power loss as uh, the difference between the input power and the output power. Uh, let's uh, compile by right click and uh, um, compile the DLL. If nothing is said, it means that uh, undefined identifier P out. Sorry, he, he is right because it is called PO. So let's compile again. 
the compiler is very shy and it didn't it didn't say nothing so let's connect the wires and let's call this node um, let's call this node F and this code uh, this node uh, PL now I want also to plot the power of this co of the components in general so I will also I will also add the expression called dot save option dot option dot option save power equal to one in this case in this way uh, the power are plotted it will slower the simulation a bit but I don't care so now we have um, uh, we have everything okay so let's run the simulation f5 okay nothing is said so let's add the window and let's add the plot called vf the efficiency of the converter is wow um uh, pa -pa 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 -pa. maybe i did something wrong let me uh, let me check uh, for a, a moment uh, let me check this um uh, let me check this one Wait. Uh, let me check this one. V of out. Uh... Ah, okay, because here the resistor is wrong. I of, of R1. In reality, R1 does not. R1 is this. So I should put R4 because it is the load. So this is my this was my mistake, and I think that I, I needed to also increase the transient to twenty milliseconds. So I will uh, uh, to increase the the precision of of my efficiency. Um, so let's use um, F five. Let's wait a bit. The simulation is very fast, so you can also uh, make a transient for even fifty milliseconds, and you will uh, be also be able to simulate that. So as you can see, I have uh, the output power, which is... Uh, um, so let's check the input power. The input power is uh, minus 1.50 uh, kilo. So I think that the efficiency should be good. Efficiency is... Voila! 97% guys! 97% of efficiency. And uh, you know why it is not... It, it, it could be even higher, the efficiency. Uh, so let me delete let me delete everything delete this because now I wanted to show you some something about the plots so this is the efficiency which is 97 percent if I use let, let's see that if, if I use another silicon MOSFET yes it, sh it should be a little bit higher but uh, uh, this is just a demonstrative video so now I want to show you what you can do you can also, uh, by right-clicking this, you can make the average, the RMS, the um, average, the maximum, the minimum, the integral, and also, why not, attach also a cursor. I think that you can't put the, the arrow like you did in the Spice. This is very, uh, very sad. So I can't, uh, I can't put uh, the, the arrow here. Maybe with T, I'm trying with everything, but I can't put the arrow. Uh, this is this makes me very sad. But you can attach images on your um, on your. Uh, you can attach images. So the power loss, yes, three kilowatt. <laughs> no, it's not. I can't have this power. I can't have this power loss. Let me check the C plus plus interface. Yes, because pin is negative. Ah, so pin is negative, and we have to subtract. Uh, um, yes, now it is correct. Now we should we should have the power loss. But by the way, uh, I can no 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 no. Please don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash! Don't crash! So I have 40, 45, 45 watts as power loss. 
and I think that it is comparable with the dissipated power of the diode. If I click P of the 1, I will have... Uh, um, let's click on the average of this. The RMS is 52. So, yes, the, um, the average of the, of the power loss of the diode, which is 36, it is mainly given by the diode as we, as we expect. The other loss is given by the switch which is very low in comparison because, we, because it is a switch and it has a lower gate charge and of course lower drop. So uh, now what you can do here is to actually attach the, um, the code. So let's use the screenshot with the snipping tool in your Windows module and let's use this con Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Let's attach it, attach it here. And as you can see, you will have your line of code inserted in your um, inserted in your plot. The same happens for the other plots. You can do basically whatever you need. So let's also add another plot, another window, and also another plot. Let's add also the, the current of the diode. And uh, let's also add the current of the MOSFET. Uh, the I of uh, M, uh, I of L1, this is the, the current of the inductor. I want to see this in my, uh, in my report, so I will just put this. And let's, let's put it here. Voila! The same happens for the same applies for the FFT, so you can uh, visualize uh, the FFT of whatever car of, of whatever cube you need. For instance, if I want to see the FFT of the inductor current, uh, right click on it and it will show the FFT. As you can see, you have the most of the components on the switching frequency as you expect it to be, and the other harmonics are just replicas that you don't care. I think that uh, uh, I think that uh, for now that's it. This this was, uh, of course. I'm sorry for the previous video. In the previous video, I simulated uh, I simulated a buck converter, but it was not very uh, successful for some for some reason. I will investigate. Uh, I will investigate this. Okay. I will investigate uh, the buck converter in so the high side driving in QSpice because. Uh, the back converter was not so uh, reliable like uh, actually the, it, it is with the boost converter. So I will investigate this in the future and uh, I will bring more content. Uh, I hope that you like this video. Everything seems good to me. And now I can go to bed in peace. Uh, thank you guys for your attention. Can, thank you guys for the critique that you gave me in the previous video. And see you in the next one.